sitting in the back of the car. I think suckling shoes were just about there. The facades of the buildings had collapsed and you could see inside the buildings. The human race is incredible in its ability to recover. And Christchurch will recover from this. You can become an amazing beacon for how a new urban way of living can be created. Internationally, what's driven the reinvention of cities is bringing people in to live in the centre, building new apartments downtown, reinventing the lanes, excluding traffic from areas, giving the streets over to people, greening the streets, local markets, something that you don't get in the suburbs. It's where all the best things can congregate together and everybody can enjoy them. New build is large corporate and government offices. As they are, I'm not seeing any residential happening. These very big buildings replacing what was a whole myriad of small buildings. I guess that's due to the rule that you have to have very large parcels of land to develop. We're still building a 20th century city built for the car wide streets and no activity. There's no people. Why didn't they get rid of the streets and bring the buildings on and create a promenade along the water? Last, there's a building embracing the river. There is an attempt to create a bit of diversity here. He hasn't maxed out his development opportunity. But I wonder if a large strip of bars overlooking the river is really the way to go. You can see it happening, can't you? You can see them coming out of the pub and going. <laughs> this is large buildings. We'll have the same tenants in it that Rickerton Mall has, fundamentally. National brands, international brands. If you were going to build new, you should replicate things that are already working. What Restart Mall shows, small pedestrian streets, small retail outlets, that fine grain that I keep talking about. But there was an opportunity to maybe put residential above the shops. That's Manchester Street. This is in the East Frame. There's going to be 900 houses in this area. That's going to be fantastic for the city. That's 900 families populating this part of the city. But it's a big project. One big developer, one big construction company. Will it provide the diversity that the city needs and deserves? I think this is still my favorite part of the city. And by again, We've got that creeping cancer of the large office building coming in, killing the small grain, the fine grain of the city. You have an innovation precinct. You have a court precinct. You have a conference precinct. Separating everything, you dilute the life of it. That's not how you build city. This whole area here has been designated for a massive convention centre. Right on the riverfront. And what's it meant to do? Bring people into the city. But what kind of people? This will be full of dentists from Nebraska and Alabama one day. Learning about root treatments. Look, it is huge. Look at the way I'm still walking. I need a lunch, cut lunch to get around this building. It's about five o'clock now. 
The workers are leaving the city. They're all going home to suburbia. How are we going to fill this city? This is a real anchor project. This will bring people in and it will encourage people to live here. This is actually a huge success, most loved. We need people living in the city, we need people working in the city, craftspeople, artisans. We need something diverse, we need better scale buildings. We need to give the city back to the people and let the people build it. Not the corporates, not the government, but the people.